The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. Dance, viewers and subscribers my name is Dan Salskila yes but they're here again big up and respect to each and everyone all right you see that video that I just presented to you that video reminded me of a game of dominoes I was playing with a few of my friends some time ago you know and one of my friends climbed on top of the dominoes table and said you know me boy you know me boy you know me hey Yes, when I showed him the dominoes in my hand, he just calmly climbed on half the table. He swear same him did win enough, but he lose. Yes, he did. I tell you, the game that is known as dominoes is a fun game. You see? All right. Anyways, I just presented to you a video that shows persons playing the game that is known as dominoes. You see me? And one of those persons thought that he won a game, but he lost. You see me? All right, um, I don't know where or when the video has been recorded, but the video has been talked about on social media. So I presented the video to you so that you can take a look at the video for yourself. And you can also let me know what to think about some of the things that have been shown and said in the video. All right. And with that, I'm going to move on to another topic. All right. Now, I'm going to present to you an audio. And in this audio, I might explain to some things that he said happened when he went to a doctor to get his prostate checked. You see me? Now... I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, this audio after I present this audio to you, my viewers and subscribers, isn't it? And I want you to tell me what to think about some of the things that this person said in this audio, all right? Now, this person used some harsh languages in this audio that some of you, my viewers and subscribers, might not want to hear. So before I present this audio to you, this is a warning that some of the languages used in this audio might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, here's the audio. Take a listen and observe. What do you know? Two man say, boy, you know, you are 42 now, you know, you so. Them say, if you check your prostate. So, I say, all right then, make the appointment. Because, you know, they have insurance, you know. So, I pay for them insurance. So, she make the appointment. And, me go. I'm going to go, Miss Swan. Nice little petite Indian doctor, you know. Nice girl. A nice young lady then, let me say that. You know, talk to me and reason. I take my vitals and... Do me like a test, them, them take some blood from me because they have the blood work and they give me an overall checkup, you know? And they must send the guy lab. So I say, all right, then go and do nothing, brother. So she says she has to check now my prostate, you understand? And she has said, why? They must insert, you know, them finger and feel up and down and feel if the prostate, the gland has swell. You understand? For all who don't know about the prostate, brother. The prostate, I want to hold the sperm water, not the sperm, you know, the, the lubricant. For when the sperm comes down, it mix with the, the fluid. You understand? So sometimes that swell up and, and push against your, 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 your pipe. 
will carry out the people through your, 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 your hood. You understand what I say? So when that swell up now, we kind of block off the, the people wall. You push against it and kind of close. Just like when you have a hose and you squeeze up your hose together and the water come out a little bit. Uh, same way. So it's like when you pee pee, when you pee pee, I want to use the bathroom. It's like you have to shake, you know, because all light never really come out. You understand? You know, flow straight like that. You understand? Like when you're a young boy or your son or so. So the prostate get bigger. So I feel if you see, you know, what size it is and estimate it and so. So I say, all right, no problem. So she said, all right, somebody will be there. So I said to myself, I'm sitting in my room now. She take off my clothes and put on my little gown and sit down on bed and wait. And I said, the lady must go and wash her hand and clean up herself, you know. To come back in, come test the prostate, you know. Go insert. You know, I look on her finger, them and nice petite girl. I said, all right, then, must can angle that. Brother, I say no man. To judgment all in you know, the people. Mighty God of Daniel. All of a sudden, I don't know where this doctor you come from, you know, brother. One big, thick man, you know, brother. You know, the white man were oversized, brother. And one of them, man, they come in, you know, brother. And when we look on the wall, man, I take the one gloves, you know, man. Me, you no know, gloves, you know. And then latex gloves, you know. Okay, you know about them things because a nurse, you know, no, do you know. And Miss Venice and all of you know, ladies and the chat, and you know, know about them things, you know, them. Me said in gloves, where the man take note of the box, mark X, X, L. Me blood fire. X, X, L. Listen, me blood fire. That the man a push on for the other the tight figure on for the man and in the brother. One of my finger come like one little. And that the man a comfy pushing thing inside of me, the brother. Comfy feel me prostrate, the brother. One man will put on one gloves, X, X, L, no brother. Remember, no man. My little rump, no man. Never touch it, no man. You understand me, I say? And imagine you're going to feel first time and look out for the man on the scene. Eh? Brother, I'll know none of them not see me to blood. I never go back for the result, brother. I never go back for the result for the blood test, brother. I'll know none of them not see me, brother. Wife, come on, ask, how was it? I say, all right, I'll know. Then not tired for call. Then tired for call. I'll know me no go back, brother. I'll know. You ma mighty God of Daniel, brother. No, sir. All right, viewers and subscribers, it seems as if the man said that he ran when he saw the doctor that was going to do this whole prostate check thing. You see me? Um, I'm wondering if this man is joking or if this man is really and truly talking about something that seriously happened. You know, I, I'm wondering, you see, because to how this person explained this whole thing, he, he explained it in a joking way. You see me? Anyways, um, I got the understanding that there are many men out there who are uncomfortable with uh, getting their prostate checked at a doctor. You see me? Yeah, and I also got the understanding that there are many persons out there both men and women who are uncomfortable with going to a doctor to get a, a checkup you see but look i want to encourage each and every one out there that going to a doctor to get a checkup is a good thing to do and i think that each and every person out there should go to the doctor to get a checkup at least once a year twice if you can and even more you see me because i think and i believe that health comes first you see me plus early detection of cancer and other type of diseases can help save your life you see me i say so i think it is a good thing for each and every one out there to go to a doctor and get a checkup at least once a year twice or more if possible i think it's a good thing to do you see me yeah man yeah, but anyways, now you can let me know what to think about some of the things that the person said in this audio and with that I'm going to move on to another video Now the next video I'm going to present to you this video is going to show a person Who talked about men and women and he also talked about ambition. Yes, I mean now According to the things that the person said I got the understanding that he said that there are women out there who don't want men who have ambition that is my understanding according to the things that the person said you know you see me it's not word for word as to how he said it but i'm telling you how i understand the things he said you see me 
Now I'm going to present this video to you and I want you to listen to the things that this person said and I want you to tell me if you agree or if you disagree with the things that this person said, viewers and subscribers, all right? Now some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Now here's the video. Take a look, listen and observe. Yo, bag of man keep on asking me, yo, socks, you can't give me two girl them socks, why problem with girl them, you can't get me girl. Um, brother, the reason you can't get a girl is because you have ambition, brother. Them girl don't want them and ambition and future, brother. When you girl them see you have ambition, brother, the girl them lock up their foot tighter than one time they do interview and they in a short skirt, brother. The girl them don't want you, brother. Tell the girls that nothing not going for you in your life and you want to breathe, her, brother. Tell her, say, you not work right now, you want to borrow a thing from her. Girl, love and walkless man borrow things from her, brother. Love and walkless man borrow things from her, brother. Tell the girls, say, I thought you want to live with your mother, brother. Turn up brawling, brother. Tell the girl, say, you're a trap, but you not really make no money right now and things so she can go and hold it down for you, see me? Tell her, say, you're a bum buckler, bad man. Tell her, say, you're a bad man, and you have gun, and you will slap her on her head and kick her down and box her down and thump over her forehead on him someday. Yeah, man, you have to go build a new now, or dark or bust some place for up, brother. So you get the girl. Viewers and subscribers, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you see? You have different stages in our life, you see me? You swear now, woman or a man young, them not think about certain things, viewers and subscribers. You see me I say? So, when you're in your teenage years or you're in your 20s, you might be just thinking about uh, how good a person look and not thinking about um, the money or the car or the ambition as how some person might call it. You see me I say to you? You see? So, when it comes down to the things that this person said, you see me? There are different, different situations out there. You see me I say? So, to apply the things that that man said about uh, women and men and with the ambition thing and so forth, you know, there are different, different situations. So, you know, me can't really and truly just say, yes, I chew him attack. And me can't say, no, I fool she's matter. No, me can't really say those things. You understand? Yeah, because, you know, different, different persons out there with different, different situations in life. You see me? And I'm also wondering if this person is joking. You understand? Yeah, because you have some persons out there who will just say certain things out of jokes still. You, know? you see me? But, you know, anyways, you know, um, you, my viewers and subscribers, can let me know what they think about some of the things that this person said. You understand? You know, um, this video is out on social media and it's being talked about. So you don't know me the answer skill. I'm only there so to keep you up to date and posting and you know what's going on. Alright? Alright, so you can let me know what you think about the videos and the audio that I presented to you in this video. And until the next time, if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button. I mean name dancer skiller, who no big up on yourself. You see it. Hey man, you can know you watch. Dance me now. Hey yo, skiller! Dance on skillet, tint.